Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and in this short video, uh, another video in our series of videos dealing with uh, non-parametric statistics, uh, we're going to concentrate on how to undertake a Mann-Whitney U-test, uh, which is a test of the difference between between a particular property uh, of two independent groups. This is equivalent to the independent samples t-test from a non-parametric perspective. Uh, the independent samples t-test being a parametric uh, test of the difference between two independent groups, uh, the Mann-Whitney being the non-parametric version. We we lean on the Mann-Whitney U-test uh, when we violated some of the assumptions or the assumptions associated with the parametric version or the parametric t-test. Uh, so just to maybe just to motivate, in this video we're not going through any of the assumptions, we're just doing, doing the test itself. And maybe just to motivate this a little bit, let's consider two independent groups. Let's say we have males, we have females, and what I've done is I've kept track, let's say for argument's sake, of male scores, uh, male spending behaviour, and let's say 10, 15, 12, 20, so four males there were, and they spent this amount of money on lunch. Uh, the females spent 7, 5, 12, let's say 16 and 18 on lunch. And the question we have now is whether there's differences in the spending behaviour of males compared to females. And we're assuming that we violate the assumptions of a t-test. So we're not actually testing whether there's differences in the average spending behaviour of males compared to the average spending of females. We're actually going to be testing from a ranking perspective. When we rank these values relative to each other, we're going to be testing whether there's differences between the ranks of males compared to the ranks of females or the average rank of males compared to the average rank of females if you want to consider it like this like that and the statistic that we're going to use it's actually quite straightforward it's 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 ui okay there's two groups so it's going to be we're going to calculate this twice once for group one and once for group uh, and then also for group two so it's ui is equal to n1 times n2 it's the product of the two samples n1 being the sample size of males and N2 being the sample size of females. Uh, plus, depending on what group we're in, it's Ni, the group size, times the group size, plus one divided by two, minus the sum of or I, which is the sum of the ranks of the particular group that we're dealing with. So, for example, in relation to the males, okay, group one, so we have group U, UM, it's going to be equal to the sample size for the males times the sample size for the females plus the sample size of the males times the sample size of the males plus one divided by two minus the sum of the ranks for the males which we haven't actually calculated just yet and then for the females okay yeah, we're going to have uh, let's say u of the females is the sample size of the males times the sample size of the females it's n1 times n2 so that's going to be the same plus the sample size of the females times the sample size of the females plus one divided by two minus the sum of the rankings that we've associated uh, with, the with the with the female group okay so what we need to do now is we know all these sample sizes we need to figure out these rankings so i mean we could do it in situ here but maybe what we'll do is we take we'll take these particular values and we'll just list them out from smallest to largest okay and we'll also associate the group that they're with so you can see the first value that the smallest value is a five and the five is associated with females the next smallest value is a seven that's associated with females. The next smallest value seems to be a 10. That's associated with males. The next smallest value seems to be a 12. That's associated with females, followed by this 12 as well, which is associated with males. So there's actually two 12s that are associated with different groups. So from a ranking perspective, we're gonna to have to split them ranks or average the ranks that are, that are assigned to them groups. The next smallest value is a 15, and that's associated with males. The next smallest value is a 16 and that's associated with females. The next one is 18 and that's associated with females and the next one is a 20 and that's associated with the males. And what we're going to do is we're going to rank them from smallest to largest. This is the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth value. You can see the largest value got the highest rank, the smallest value got the smallest rank. Okay, But let's keep in mind if we have ties we need to average them. In this case there's only two values that are tied together. So it's 4 plus 5 divided by 2 gives us 4.5. If there was three values we'd add them together, the actual assigned ranks, and we divide by 3. But in this case it's 4.5. So now we can actually calculate when we look at let's say the males uh, let's say we look at the male values the male ranks well there's a male rank here and uh, there's another male rank here there's another one here and there's the final male rank down here well sigma or m sigma sigma or m the sum of the male ranks is going to be 3 plus 
oh, that's not 5, it's actually 4.5, okay? Plus 6, plus, plus 9, okay? Which gives us, for the males, we end up with, well, what have we got? We have 9, we have 18, we have 22. We have 22.5 is the sum of the, the male ranks. Actually, on average, the male ranks here will be 22.5 divided by 4. Okay, that's the average rank for the males. What about the females? I'll just do that down here, maybe. Okay, um, sort of run out of paper here. Okay, so let's say for the females, we have to sum of the ranks of the females is equal to. Well, the females are are here, 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 and here. So the ranks that have been assigned to them are are one, 